that is the material disease. That's what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Chaitanya Atpana Mahajanam. This rogue is okay. Then talk up spiritually. At her, that is himself so much hugely accumulated. By millions of years, contamination of this material. It is very difficult to get out of this rogueism. And to become a Vaishnava, he has to become a Brahmin. And to Brahmin means one of the qualifications of Brahmin is Saralatha, Arjava, simplicity. The ropes cannot be simple, always intriguing, making plans, plotting. These are rogisms. But a Vaishna requires very simple life. Satta, Sama, Nama, Sutikya, Arjava. Arjava means simplicity. He is very uh, forward without any covering. Now he is sneezing. <coughs> Nature's law is so subtle. Purudhāmi bhadhyā, Bhagavad says, Purudhāmi bhadhyā, just like a man, is tied up, tightly heads and legs. By the laws of nature we are tired of it. Every part of our body is being controlled by some control. We cannot violate a very insignificant portion of nature's law. Krishna is perfect. Eh? We, we think that we rogues, Krishna cannot see. Uh, Krishna has kept so many witnesses and he is sitting himself with him. How you can hide and seek? No hide and seek. That is another foolishness, illusion. How you can hide yourself from Krishna? That's not possible. And you are violating the laws of nature and you are suffering. No excuse. Exactly like that. If the child catches fire, the catches fire is no excuse because it is a child. No. It is that. So you should know that. Can you call? Yes, yes. Are you? We cannot be any excuse, therefore we have to be very, very careful. And the best carefulness is chanting Hare Mami Vaja Prabhadanti, Mami Simply with surrender. You, you take this letter and post immediately. Immediately after the class. Uh, in, in that envelope, our Devanand Man has written that I am enclosing here with one Bar Savi, you plan. Huh? Has he done? If he has done, ask him and put it. If he is not, Without that plan, you can. I am. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I am very glad a young doctor is attending this meeting. He can cure many patients who are suffering from this material. What do you think, doctor? Yeah. You are now curing physical disease. But yeah. when you take up curing material, I would say spiritual disease. Yeah. <coughs> Try to bring all people to the normal spiritual life. 
all their suffering is due to abnormal spiritual life. All suffering. Because I was discussing with my disciples just now, nature's law is so subtle and so acute. Any little violation will be punished immediately. You know, you are medical man. Little violation will immediately be subjected to the punishment. That is God's law. Uh, there, there is a word in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Urudhamni Badhya. Uru, Uru means very strong. And Dhamni means rope. Just like if you are tied up with a strong rope and can fit as you are helpless. Our position is like that. This very word is used, Urudhāmi Vadhyā. Nate Vidu, as such, Vadhyā, conditioned souls, they are declaring freedom. I don't care for anyone. I don't care for God. How much foolishness? Just like some, sometimes naughty children, they are also bound up. Jasada Mahi also bound up Krishna. That is a, uh, an Indian system for everywhere, sometimes <laughs> that. It is sim- and that, that small child, when it is bound up, if that child declares freedom, how it is possible? Similarly, by the laws of mother nature, we are bound up. How we can <laughs> declare freedom? Every part of our body is being controlled by some controller. That is stated in the Bible. Even your, this eyelid moving, that is also under some control. <coughs> so the people do not understand it. And they are declaring, I am God. I, I don't care for God. God is there. How God is there? You are under so much control. And how God is there? You can say that there is no government provided. There is nobody to check you. But if you are in every step checked, how you can say that there is no government? That is another foolishness. Uh, For all men, they have been declared in the Bhagavad, abodha jāka, born fools and that's good. But these are very strong words. But if we take this strong, uh, that is another foolishness. It is so, and if we deny that we cannot uh, accept such strong things, then another foolishness. 